measure the difference between the mean absolute deviation of data set A and the mean absolute deviation of data set B, rounded to the nearest tenth when performing all operations. So first we need to find the mean absolute deviation of data set A. And if you remember, when we're finding the MAD, the first thing that you need to do is find the mean of the data set. So the mean of this data set, I would start by adding up all of the data values. Now remember, these two dots for 5 represent 5 twice. Three dots for 6 means that there are three 6s in our data set, and so on and so forth. Now when I have all of these data values listed out, I need to add them all together. The sum of these is equal to 84. Now, in order to find the mean, I then need to divide it by however many data points there are. In this case, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 data points. So the mean of this data set is 7. Now, the mean absolute deviation, we need to find out how much each number varies from 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the difference between each value and 7, our mean, on top of the number. So 5 varies by 2, 2, 6 varies by 1. There is no difference between 7 and 7. And as I continue on, you'll see that I now have all these values. In order to find the mean absolute deviation, I need to now add all of those values together. 2 plus 2 is 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 plus 3 is 14. And again, I'll divide it by 12 to find out it has a mean absolute deviation of 1.2. Now I'll repeat, repeat the process with data set B, which has a mean of 5. And when I write over these, you'll see that I will end up with a total of 18. And there are 15 data points, so when I divide 18 by 15, I again get 1.2. Now it says to find the difference between those. Well, data set A has an MAD of 1.2, as does data set B, so there is no difference between these two. They actually vary the exact same amount because they have the same mean absolute deviation.